So today I am checking out this Elite Gourmet toaster that we purchased. We purchased this off Amazon. Our old toaster was a really small toaster and honestly I really liked it a lot but it was really tiny so it fit awesome in our RV. We did not need that in our home so we got this more fancy one here. This thing got awesome reviews so we're excited to get this thing out of the box and test it. But I mean come on look at how cool this thing is. It's got like a heating rack. It's got digital you know readouts on the front it's got your temperature settings got a crumb tray i mean this thing's really cool so elite gourmet sounds about right let's go ahead and get it out of the box and check it out this one we got was the stainless steel in black again it's got these little tray things over here on the side it's got here's the way to pop up those warmers so let me pull a little closer you can see it so like let's say you have some bread or something you want to warm up but you really don't want to toast it you can just Flick these things down and then go ahead and push that in to turn it on and it's going to take the heat that's coming off of this and warm up whatever's on top. So this is cool for like, I don't know, hamburger buns, hot dog bun, you know, maybe French bread or something like that. But really neat. To put them down, you just flip this thing back up. You got your digital interface here. You've got your cancel eject, bagel button, defrost. That's kind of cool because we do freeze bread a lot if we're not going to use it. We buy a lot of bread, especially out in the country, and we put it in the freezer. So sometimes you want some bread and you want to defrost it. So there you go. And it's got a cool, you know, little range setting there on your temperature. You even have a reheat setting down there. On the side, nothing. Back, nothing. And then on this side where you have the, you know, pop-up heater, you also have the crumb tray. So when you're putting stuff in there, it's going to direct it down into that tray. And, you know, probably every time you use this, you'll probably want to clean that out. If not, you know, it gets built up over time and then you find out the wrong way by, it, you know, burning the bread and everything. So it's good to have a crumb tray like that so that way you can get rid of that. All the cool things about it are going to be in this manual here. And it looks like it's a pretty straightforward manual. Tells you what everything is, tells you about how to use it, about the settings, tips, cleaning it, everything you need to know. So I forgot to add this, and this is actually somewhat important to certain people. It is to me. So you can actually run the cable in here all you want, and then it has this little indention here, so that way you can stick it out. Where we usually do the toaster is really close to the backsplash at an outlet anyway. So I like this, so I don't have this cord just hanging out everywhere. I can roll it up, make this exactly the size I want, have it sticking out, so it's perfect. We don't have any extra mess hanging around. I don't like having cables on our countertops. The other thing it has is these little rubber feet. Now it only has them on one side, and I'm not exactly sure why they did it only on one side, but it does have rubber feet. Our last toaster just had these little plastic feet on it, and it didn't take anything to just move that around on the granite. So with these little rubber feet here, now you'll be able to set it down and it will stick to your countertops much better. So very cool toaster here. I do really like this already. I hope all this information was helpful. Thank you very much for watching. Y'all take care.